Start game now. Greetings to all my friends in YouTube land. Today I will be reviewing Bubsy for the Sega Genesis. The full name of the game, which you will not find anywhere on the cartridge, is actually Bubsy Claws Encounter of the Ferg Kind. They were definitely going for the puns with that name. Made by Accolade, uh, 1993 platformer. It is a one or two player game. However, if you play two players, it is one of those games where you just kind of take turns and you wouldn't actually know it's a two-player game by just looking at it because you only get one player at a time. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to review Bubsy is because of its reputation. Bubsy gets quite the bad rep. A lot of people just consider it one of the worst games of the 16-bit era, and I'm just curious if that is justified or not because before Bubsy, there was another game out. It was made for the Atari 2600, and it was called E.T. the Extraterrestrial. And like Bubsy, E.T. kind of got a bad rep. And the thing was with E.T. was I actually played it with an open mind. I didn't know that this thing was supposed to have such a bad reputation. I didn't know that you could go to New Mexico and find them buried under every street corner. I just knew it was a game. I liked E.T. I liked Atari. I tried it out, and I actually had quite a bit of fun with it. So I'm curious if this guy deserves the same reputation that this guy does. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop this into the Atari. No, I'm sorry. This goes in the Atari. We're going to pop this guy into the Sega Genesis. You can go in the Atari 2600 later. Okay, Elliot? All right. We'll do that later with you. But you go into Sega Genesis. We're going to find out just how good or bad you are. So once again, we're going to be playing Bubsy for the Sega Genesis. Let's go ahead and roll that footage. Okay, uh, immediately when playing Bubsy, a couple of things will show up right away. And one is the graphics or the animation. I actually think that the graphics of this game is actually quite well done. This game is nicely animated, quite colorful. I wouldn't go to say it's one of the best uh, graphics ever seen on the uh, Sega Genesis, but it's definitely it's it's up there. It, they do a really good job with the animation. Everything's really fluid and kind of comical, so that that it's okay, graphically okay. Music, you know, it's 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 not terrible. It doesn't make me want to you know scratch my ears off or anything. So the music, the music is suitable as well. But then you get into the gameplay, and that's where we run into some difficulties. Let's start with this. First of all, you get nine lives. And that sounds like, hey, awesome, nine lives. And get it? You know, cat, nine lives. Makes kind of sense. But that should be our first red flag. When the developer gives you so many lives, something's wrong. And what's wrong with Bubsy is that it is just a really difficult game. What really makes this game difficult is that it's a one hit wonder. One hit will kill you, almost always. There are a few power ups here and there, but in totality, they're rare, few and far between, and the one hit is gonna kill you, and they can come anywhere. There's gonna be times you die, you don't even know why you died. It'll take you a second to figure it out. I remember one time I ran into a cactus. I can speak cactus. I ran into a cactus. All right. Now, in a game like Sonic the Hedgehog, the trees are usually in the in the background. You don't run into them. You kind of run by the trunks. And I thought it was like this in Bubsy, but no, I ran into that cactus and immediately I was dead. Another thing that will kill you is these things that look like thumbtacks. You hit some of those and you're dead. It's just a little thumbtack, but it totally kills you instantly. Now, Bubsy is in, in this game. He's facing these aliens who are trying to steal all the Earth's yarn. Okay, so your goal is to collect as much yarn as you can and defeat these aliens called the Woolies. However, some of these Woolies uh, throw some that looks like eggs. Guess what? You get hit by an egg, you die. You fall in the water, you die. If you fall from too far of a height, you die. You know, so I guess cats don't always land on their feet after all, huh, Bubsy? That is the biggest problem with it. It's the difficulty and the frustration, the fact that you will just die constantly. 
You will die so many times, you will wonder why they didn't give you 99 lives to begin with. Now, beyond that, you know, the game it has some clever ideas. He tries to do this thing where he glides. You can push a button, you can glide him. But sometimes it feels kind of floaty. He actually can get pretty fast. He can get kind of almost sonic fast. He can get pretty fast. But the problem is you lose control once he gets that fast. And if he runs into a wall, he will actually knock himself out, which is kind of comical. But... When you knock yourself out, you're vulnerable to enemies, you're just laying there. Eventually you can come to and it won't kill you, but it'll knock himself out. So you got this game, the, the, the gameplay, the controls are kind of slippery. Sometimes it feels like you're on ice. It takes a lot of getting used to. It requires precision sometimes and it's very, very unforgiving. Now, with that being said, is there any fun to be had in Bubsy? Yeah, I think there is a little bit. A little bit, okay? The, mind you, there are a lot of platformers on this Genesis, and there's a lot that are better than this game. But there were actually a few moments where I actually relished the challenge. I was like, you know what? I want to try that level again. I want to see what I can do. And thankfully, there is a password system, and if you look up on, uh, on the internet, you can find passwords for each of the levels, so you don't have to replay the levels constantly. And if it wasn't for those passwords, the game would lose even more fun in my eyes. Now the game, every about three levels will give you a password, but go ahead and Google it. You will find passwords for every level. Uh, but yeah, there is some fun. The, the levels are nice and large. You, you have um, different areas you can explore. It basically, it kind of gives you a choice. Do you want to take the high road or the low road? They're all going to end in the same end point, but it's big enough where you go one way and you get frustrated, you can try going another. Now, there are some bonus levels, if you will, and the bonus levels are a bit of a mixed, ma mixed bag. Yes, you can find some cool stuff, but often I found myself kind of more frustrated. You know, in Mario, you go down the tube, hey, free coins, jump around, nothing bad's going to happen, head on out. With Bubsy, it's kind of hit and miss. You go down a tube, you might get hit by, like, the top of it that's flying up and down. Or you go into a door, you don't know where you're going to end up, and it might help you, it might not. So unless you have to, I kind of tend to avoid the levels but again the levels are big they're kind of cool i like some of the themes you got kind of like the desert theme in some you got kind of the star wars theme in some but overall at the end of the day i find myself kind of just being like eh. it's a kind of game where if you were stuck in a cabin in the woods or at grandmother's house and there was a dusty old genesis that's the only thing there and there was you know a copy of columns and a copy of tommy lasorda baseball and a copy of bubsy yeah you might play all three of those games taking turns so it's not so bad that i would totally avoid it there is some fun to have but overall i can only re recommend this to the uh, biggest a game collectors, to someone who wants to get, you know, every game for the Sega Genesis, let's say. Other than that, I'd say that there's other platforms that you can look. By the way, one of the things that Bubsy kind of gets a, uh, another bad rapper is known for is his voiceovers. The guy is constantly talking, saying these funny little lines, and here's the deal. They're not as bad as people think they are, but... After you hear them about 27 times, that's when they get annoying. So are the voices bad? No. But after you hear them a lot, they're getting annoying. So that that's Bubsy for the Sega Genesis. Um, not the worst game ever. Probably doesn't quite deserve the reputation it gets. I tell you what, here's what the developers should have done. The yarn balls you collect, they're just for points. Make them like the rings. Give you a chance to, you know, get hit a couple times, kind of like Sonic. You know, or even give me the chance just to throw the yarn balls at the enemy so I can attack some from the distance. Family friendly game, nothing too objectionable as far as violence goes, no blood, enemies just poof. But in the end, what counts is the gameplay and it's just, hmm, it's kind of missing something. I'd rather pop in Sonic the Hedgehog or Super Mario Brothers instead. So once again, Bubsy by Accolade. Congratulations. More people know about you than most of the other mascots out there. But it's not always a good thing, is it, Bubsy? Well, are you still playing this thing? Yeah. Uh, am I still playing this game? No, I don't think so. Alright, this is the No Swear Gamer. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll have future episodes as they come along. Take care.